G'day guys, this is X-Ray Racer 1 and this video I'm going to be doing something a little bit different from what I usually do. This video I'm going to be doing a review on the N-Scale EMD GP35 Phase 1A locomotive by Atlas. Uh, this is uh, the first locomotive review that I'm going to do. Um, for those who have been following my channel for quite a while will know that um, I have recently uh, branched off into doing model railroading. Uh, don't panic guys, I'll still be doing the radio control stuff as well. This is just going to be another thing that I do on my channel. And uh, so I picked this locomotive up. Uh, from a local hobby shop in Sydney, in a hobby shop in Ride. Um, I've been there uh, once before. Pretty good. Um, they don't have a lot of uh, N scale stuff, but um, like they do have an okay amount of uh, locomotives and rolling stock, and they've got buildings and accessories and things like that. Uh, they do primarily focus a bit more on the HO00 gauge um, stuff. But um, while I was in there, I saw this locomotive and thought, yeah, it looks pretty cool. And um, interestingly enough, I didn't realize uh, this locomotive is DCC equipped. Um, for those that don't know what DCC stands for, it stands for Digital Command Control. I'm pretty sure that's what it stands for, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but I have a DC layout, which is just direct control or direct current. Um, which doesn't matter because uh, the fellow at the hobby shop did a quick test run of this on a DC test track and it works. Um, from what I've been told from other people, uh, locomotives that are DCC equipped will uh, run both DCC and DC, uh, which is good. And don't quote me on this, but from what I understand, uh, the Atlas locomotives that come DCC equipped have what's called a dual drive system, so they'll detect it'll detect whether or not. Um, that it's DCC or DC. So anyway, enough about that. Um, so this is from Atlas's Classic Series. It's in the Southern Pacific colours, um, commonly known as Kodachrome. Uh, like for the, just uh, I suppose it's like a nickname for the uh, Kodak uh, film. So yeah, the Kodachrome colour, Southern Pacific. Um, for the part number, that's the part number right there. So, um, yeah, on the back of the box, just gives you a little information about the locomotive. There's, you know, equipped with DCC and so forth. Uh, inside, you got a simple instruction manual, but we're not worried about that. More interested in the locomotive, so we'll just pull it out. Um, while it's in my head, I probably should have brought it out at the start of this video. Uh, this will be part A of the review. Part B will be uh, the running on the layout. So, as we look at it and see, it's got a uh, nice detail. I do. I have noticed since my absence from NSCAR for quite a number of years. Um, I've noticed since I've come back that the detail of locomotives has uh, really, really uh, changed for the better. Um, as you can see, you can see all the little rivets and that, and the detail with the fans. Even when it comes down to the paint, like you look along the side here, you can see like little, uh, you can see little warning uh, labels on the side. Probably can't focus on it too well. But, um, but yeah, it's, uh, it is well detailed. It comes with uh, knuckle couplers. Um, as I said, this locomotive is DCC equipped. 
Um, I'm not going to take the off the shell to show you, but um, yeah, it's a uh, it is um, the decoder in it is pretty small, and it's also hardwired to the uh, circuit board. Um, you can, if you wanted to. Um, in the box for the instruction manual it does have a part number for a standard DC um, circuit board if you have if you wanted to just run it DC but like I said it has like what's I believe what they call a dual drive system so it really doesn't matter you can just run it on DC but um, yeah it's uh, it's got a bit it's decent amount of weight to it the uh, chassis or I suppose for the purists out there the mechanism uh, it's quite weighty which is good um, I did notice that there are no uh, drive tire, uh, rubber drive tires on it I'm assuming uh, that that sort of things a bit old school but um, all around just first impression it is nicely detailed uh, with the circuit board inside, it is like the uh, usual. Uh, when you go forwards, the front operating lights turn on. When it goes in reverse, oops, sorry. When it goes in reverse, they turn off, and the rear lights come on. So that's that. I think that'll do for part A. In this review. Let's face it. You'd rather see it on the track. So, I'll end the video here just for the first impressions. After that, and part B, we will take it to my layout and we'll go from there. Stay tuned, guys.